Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimostech and today we are going to talk about a DNS, Domain Name System. Ok, so what is a DNS? So in my last uh, video I explained what is an IP address and that you need an IP address in order to contact for example Facebook or whatever website you want, for example Google, whatever. Uh, now, uh, as you know, when you want to enter some website or uh, contact some sort of server, you don't enter an IP address, you enter for example facebook.com, google.com, uh, demostech.net or whatsoever. What happens is uh, your computer, when you enter a website, for example one of those, uh, your computer uh, checks in its network settings who is its DNS, uh, which IP is the DNS. Now, uh, DNS is uh, usually installed as a service uh, on, it can be installed on Windows Server, for example, on Linux, for example, Bind, uh, or in your router, in your network, uh, in your ISP provider, whatever. Anyway, um, let's say you're at home, uh, usually your DNS will be uh, what your internet service provider uh, told your router it is. Basically it's one of the uh, ISP's DNS's uh, which uh, holds uh, all those translations. Basically what DNS does is translates, for example, facebook.com into an IP address. Now, uh, there are many sorts of uh, DNS uh, queries. So, for example, the regular one is a record, which is uh, from, for example, facebook.com to its IP address, where regular IPv4. Now, there's another, almost the same record, which is uh, 4 times a, 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 which will translate the link, for example, facebook.com or google.com or whatever, into IPv6. So, um, it, if you will use IPv6 in the future, or if you, if some sort of site uses it already, uh, it will need an AA, AA record and not an A record, like uh, most uh, use today. Uh, another example is uh, CNAME, which, for example, uh, I use in uh, my own domain in demostech.net, uh, which translates from uh, demostech.net into www.demostech.net. Uh, usually www uh, is a synonym to your uh, root domain. A root domain is for example demostech.net without the www. Same goes for Facebook or any other website. For example, uh, a synonym for uh, google.com might be photos or drive.google.com uh, and etc. So those are few, only few uh, types of records that uh, DNS can hold, there are a bunch of others, for example TXT, uh, SPF, uh, MX, uh, many others. So let's not go too deep. Uh, anyway, uh, what happens uh, when you enter a website, your computer goes uh, to whatever ISP provided uh, that uh, the DNS is, uh, and for example you ask which, who is demostech.net if you want to enter demostech.net. Uh, your computer asks uh, a DNS query uh, for uh, this, DN this particular DNS that your ISP provided and then the DNS uh, is supposed to answer. Now, here's what happens. Not all the DNS servers in all the world know all the websites. So, for example, if you enter for the first time to demostech.net, your computer will ask the DNS from the ISP and it will never know what it is. So what it does, uh, each uh, DNS server has another DNS server uh, that goes a level up. Now uh, in the world there are about, uh, the last time uh, I read, which was, uh, I don't know, many years ago, there are 13 main DNS servers, uh, root DNS servers, they are called root DNS servers, uh, in the world which uh, basically hold all the data at least we are supposed to hold all the data. Now basically when you register a domain, for example when I uh, purchased my domain demostech.net uh, I entered one of the registrars, in my case uh, it's GoDaddy, uh, it can be any other. Uh, 
after I purchased it and set the IP address or whatever I needed uh, to translate to my website. Uh, it went to all those uh, root servers and our DNS servers and updated that hey, demostech.net goes to this one. Uh, so that's basically what uh, uh, happens. Now, um, when you receive an answer from your DNS, it also will uh, show you if you'll do it in a command line if uh, it answered uh, by itself, so uh, your DNS uh, actually knew who is demostech.net or that it asked someone else. Uh, now there are some sort of security issues uh, that are being held in the world, for example uh, uh, DNS poisoning, uh, which uh, will make uh, your computer or another DNS to think that demostech.net is actually some harmful IP. Now, um, there are of course uh, lots of security measures are taken and uh, stuff like that, but let's not go uh, too deep into this. Uh, anyway, basically that's what the DNS server does, it uh, just translates uh, the URL, the demostech.net for example, into an IP address and so you can uh, contact your uh, server, your site, whatever, without knowing its IP address. By the way, IP address can change as well. Uh, usually DNS records uh, change uh, less and even if uh, it does, even if uh, one day I'll decide that I'm changing demostech.net to something else I'll be able uh, to redirect it to actually uh, put a CNAME uh, that will navigate you to a new website so uh, again uh, you will be able to navigate to the correct one uh, basically that's pretty much it so um, See you on the next one. Uh, the next one I uh, think uh, will be a video about uh, the host file, which I was planning uh, actually to begin with, but when I realized, as I said in the video before, uh, that uh, you need to first know what is an IP address and what is a DNS server in order to explain what uh, is a host file. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm going to explain uh, on the next video. Uh, as always, thumbs up the video if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and as always check the V uh, to receive future updates and uh, see you on the next one. Uh, in order for any device to speak to each other, they need to have an address. So for example, if I want to send something to another computer,